Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I eat in a day to lose weight. So let's get into today's video. First of all, I want to put out a little disclaimer. Just because what I eat to lose weight doesn't mean if you eat this, you're going to lose weight. Everybody's different. And to lose weight, you don't need to eat like the exact foods that I eat. Usually every single day, I do eat the same breakfast and lunch, just not at the same times. So I eat whenever I'm hungry, which is called intuitive eating, which is just where you eat whenever you're hungry. So like I said, since I do intuitive eating, I literally just eat whenever I'm hungry. But it is currently... 10:35 and I'm hungry so we're gonna make some breakfast so for breakfast today I'm gonna make a bagel with two eggs usually every single day for breakfast I have two eggs with either a bagel or two pieces of toast Slight issue. I forgot to spray the pan with Pam. Good. Let's just say never forget to spray your pan. This is what my pan looks like. Ta-da! This is my beautiful display of my breakfast. It doesn't look beautiful like everyone shows their breakfast looking like, but this is the reality of what it looks like. To be honest, that never happens. I usually always spray the pan with Pam. It's only happened twice, and today was the second time. That's not happened. Usually my eggs look a lot more beautiful than this, and they actually look presentable. That's what I have for breakfast. You know what I forgot? Black pepper. Let's enjoy this while watching some YouTube. This crunch is just amazing, listen. <laughs> I will talk to you guys for lunch, probably. Peace out. <laughs> I was just about to film a YouTube video for you guys, but I was about to drink some water. And I want to tell you guys something. So, let me just take a sip real quick though. I cut pop out February 18th of 2020. Sometimes though, if we do have Powerade or Gatorade at like my house, then I will drink it. But I have not been drinking any pop. And the only thing I really drink is water. So, um, yeah. Okay, I need to get back to filming this video, but make sure... Stay hydrated, drink your water right now because you need to be hydrated. What did I just say? Because you need to be hydrated. Hey guys, so it's about 12.30 and I'm going to go ahead and make some whipped coffee just because it keeps me energized and it keeps me full for about three hours and I don't know, I just really like coffee. If you guys don't know what whipped coffee is, let me just tell you, it's actually pretty dang good. Basically, you fill a cup with ice and milk, and then you make a different mixture and you put it on top of the ice and milk. The other mixture contains of sugar, instant coffee, and water. You just mix that together, wait till it's like, I don't know, like whipped. And then you just add it on top, and then you stir it together, and then you drink it, and it's like a match made in heaven. But I previously already made the mixture, so I just have it in my fridge, so that way every single time, which is every single day, that I have whipped coffee, I don't have to remake the mixture. But let's go ahead and make some dang whipped coffee, because I'm thirsty and I want my coffee. Yum, yum, yum. And that is my whipped coffee. 
and delicious. Also, if you're wondering why I mix together regular milk and then almond milk is because I'm pretty sure dairy actually hurts my stomach. Dairy is known to like actually like mess up with your digestive system. Well, dairy can hurt your digestive system. So I might be lactose intolerant, but we still have regular milk. So I just mix it together with almond milk. But yeah, I'm not positive if I'm lactose intolerant, but I might be. Okay, so basically now I'm going to be making some lunch basically every single day. I usually make a strawberry banana smoothie, so let's make it. So the ingredients I use, bananas, I always just chop up bananas and then put them in the freezer. Strawberries, I do the same, cut them up, put them in the freezer. Some yogurt and any type of milk. This is the yogurt I'm currently using. And then I, oh my gosh. And then I use almond milk just because my stomach and digestive system is not like allergic, but like hurt. And it like gets like messed up basically whenever I have too much dairy. So I like to use almond milk because obviously it doesn't have dairy in it. Basically, I'm just gonna put this all in the blender and then blend it up. Okay, the smoothie is done. And then the last ingredient I use is granola. This is the granola I usually use. It's just by the Meyer brand. It is toasted coconut. I usually don't put that much. This is the finished product. Usually my smoothies are they're less liquidy. They're more like a... I don't know, like a smoothie, but I don't know. I think I put too much yogurt and milk in this, but it's fine because it tastes good. It's also usually filled all the way to the top, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so it's actually currently the next day, but I just want to let you guys know because obviously I didn't vlog for dinner, but every single day for dinner, I have something completely different. So sometimes I have like chicken alfredo or mashed potatoes and chicken or hamburger helper. I, every single day for dinner, I literally have something completely different, so, um, yeah. I just want to say that. But yeah, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. I love you all, and I will see you guys Saturday for a new video.